freckles too? Oh. Look who else has freckles. Who has some freckles? Mine might be age spots, but you know. Yeah. I do. Yes, we all have some freckles. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to story time. Oh, she got a boo boo. Uh oh. We, we're going to do something funny today because yesterday, Lucy and Rosie and Josie and Willa came and we did story time and the tape didn't work. So we're going to do it again. How nice. How silly is that? Let's do our hello song, okay? Make a sign for hello. Make a sign. Okay. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to read a book. Nice job. What should I start doing? What do you think? Showing people. So at first, when you like do hello, make the sign for ho and make the sign for friends. Make the sign for the ho. Oh, should I explain that ahead of time? That That's a good idea. That kind of takes people by surprise, doesn't it? Okay, so what's that, honey? An Eric Carl book. Is yes. Yes. Good job. So today we're going to read books by Eric Carl, as I explained yesterday. <laughs> and here is a picture of the famous artist and author, Eric Carl, right? And he wrote lots of children's books. And this, the first one that he illustrated, mean, meaning he made the pictures for, was Brown Bear, Brown Bear, which was written by a different author, by Bill Martin Jr., right? And everybody liked the pictures in that book so much that, that Eric Carl got to make lots and lots of children's books. So, we're going to celebrate his life by reading some of his books. And this is it a unicorn? Is it a unicorn? Oh, it kind of looks like a unicorn. What do you think it is? A blue. I think it is a blue horse. I think so, it's a green spider. <laughs> no, it's you a see a green spider. I think she's silly. So this is called The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse, right? And Eric Carl... You mean blue spider. <laughs> Eric Carl made this book to, to um, celebrate an artist that inspired him when he was a kid named Franz Mark. So this is an homage to Franz Mark. Okay. I am an artist, bless you. I am an artist and I paint. Anybody here like to paint? Yes, uh, a, a horse. A blue horse, exactly. I paint a blue horse. And you guys can tell me what I'm, what we're looking at here. And a, a red, yeah, we'll do that one too. A red crocodile. Yes. If there's a donkey in the book, can I just do one? Oh, thing? sure. And what do we have here? A yellow cow. cow. A yellow cow. A yellow cow. A ye and a pink, a pink bunny. A pink a rabbit pink. or bunny, a right? A yes. A pink rabbit. A pink or rabbit. Well Does it said. say rabbit or bunny? Or bunny. I don't, I don't know how to tell. I mean, I think they're the same thing. And a green lion. A green lion. What does a lion say? <laughs> and an orange um, elephant. My favorite animal. An elephant is your favorite animal? Oh, how nice. My and, oh, my favorite color. A purple fox. A purple fox. A and <gasps> a black polar bear. That's your favorite. That's yeah. so cool. Usually polar bears are white, but here this artist painted a black polar bear. And, oh, here it is. A rainbow donkey. A rainbow a donkey. donkey. A rainbow yeah, how beautiful. And there's our donkey. I am a good artist. <laughs> I'm laughing because. Because you kick like a donkey. And there, there's the original art. In the room. Yeah. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Yeah. Now let's do I another. I got a mini scrape yesterday. Oh, you Look got a scrape too? Heels. Oh, wow. You heal quickly. Yeah. Because I'm bigger, I heal quickly. Yeah, I think that might be. Oh, you do too. 
Oh, oh dear. Well, by tomorrow, I bet it'll be feeling better. Here is a, I know. Here is another book by Eric Carl, and it's called The Very Busy Spider. We have this is one of my favorites. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Yeah. All right. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard. I'm gonna hold it like that so hopefully the kids from the camera can see it. Yay! Their houses. And what do we have here? Horsey! I'm horsey! Yay! Nay! Nay! Said a horse. Want to go for a ride? What did Spider say? No. The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. She was very quiet. She just didn't answer. Moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Can you see, can you see more um, threads on the web getting getting there? This is move, 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 move. It's fine. Bob, Bob, bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma, ma, said the goat. What do you see here? A fly. A fly. A fly. Hmm, let's keep an eye on that. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. That's so big now. Look how, look how, yeah. And now it touches all four corners of the fence post. Wait, move, 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 move. Okay. Oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. If there are donkeys in the... In Does anybody see a... Fl can you... Can you see it still? Let's see if you see it. Can you see the fly? Yes. Yeah, still? Can you see it? Yeah, the fly is still in there. Okay, I hear a bird over there. They're very busy. Woof, woof, barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. And you still see the fly in there, right? Do you see the fly? There it is. Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. And there's still... A fly in there. Do you see it? Yep. There it is. Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her, there's that fly. She had now finished her web. Look how beautiful it is. Have you guys ever seen a, in the, in the, in the night with the lights behind it, have you ever seen a full web like that? They could be quite pretty. <gasps> Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock -doo, cried the roast, here's, crowed here's, the rooster. The fly, Want to catch a pesky here's, fly? And the spider caught the fly in her web, just like that. Ate it. <laughs> who, who, asked the owl, who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. Can, can we can we read a couple more books and then go play? No, Is that okay? Can we do can we do Itsy Bitsy Spider now? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And then zoom zoom after Itsy Bitsy Spider and then two more books and then project and then go play. Okay, sounds good. All right, let's do Itsy Bitsy Spider. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! Now this one, we need you guys to be active, right? Remember this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're active, you're active, no problem. Also by Eric Carl. And one thing that Lucy noticed yesterday is these books are also all about animals, right? Do you remember you noticed that? Because 
there it's it is a big monkey because Eric Carl does a lot of books about animals. Okay, Lucy, you want to come over here so that you, so that you, we can still see you in the in the camera? Okay, all right. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? <laughs> okay, I can do it. I am a giraffe and I bend my neck. That's right. Can you do it? This is the way you bend your <laughs> okay, neck. Okay, bend your neck like this. All right, sounds good. <laughs> I can do it. I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. <laughs> I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it. Waving. I was waving the book, not just my arms. That was silly. I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? <laughs> I can do it. I love all the colors in these books. I am a gorilla and I thump my chest. Can I am you do a it? yeti. Or a yeti. <laughs> It's called Yeti, I can do it. it's just me and Rosie. We call it a gorilla. It's just me and gorilla too. Okay. <laughs> I am a cat and I can arch my back. Can you do it? Nice job. Oh, arch your back. Woo! Oh, Hello. who does a somersault? I don't know about that. <laughs> what animal does a somersault? Dilton. <laughs> I am a crocodile and I wriggle my hips. Can you do it? You seen that? <laughs> I can do it. I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. Yep, just like that. Uh -huh. I can do it too. You can do it too. That's fantastic. I can do it too. Fantastic. And you too. Oh, here we go. I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Nice job. Can you do it? I can do it. Miss Shirley's going to try it this time too. Oh, that's true. Can you do it with me again? Woo! <laughs> How silly is that? Hopefully that didn't show on the tape. No, just kidding. Okay, I am an <laughs> elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? I can do it. I am I and I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it. I can do That's that too. A, yes, you can. Watch it's nice this. to have books sometimes that are help us be active, right? Give, give us some active ideas. Look, okay. Let's do Zoom Zoom, and then we'll read the Caterpillar book, and then we can <coughs> either play or do a project. Does that sound good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or both? Okay. Both. Okay, everybody out there, ready for Zoom Zoom? Yeah. Be ready to jump. Or blast off, I mean. Okay. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Okay, we're going to count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Nice job. Blast off. Okay, let's read the let's read the very hungry pat caterpillar. Okay, and then and then we'll do other things. Okay. Also by Eric Carl. I this is such a special book, isn't it? Mm -hmm. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Uh, one Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Hmm. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. One apple. Good job. But he was still hungry. Right. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. two pears. That's right, two pears. But he was still hungry. One, two, well, yeah. On 
Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three, three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through one, two, three, four, four strawberries, but he was still hungry. I had strawberries for breakfast this morning. I did too. Did you? On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five, five oranges, but he was still hungry. Okay, on Saturday, here, I'll go like this. Can you see it this way? Uh -huh. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one piece of Swiss cheese. How about, how about, how about if we do it this way? How about if Rosie sits a little bit and Lucy sits up a little bit and then we'll have, can you sit down for a couple more seconds? Yeah. Thank you. Good job. Perfect. How's that work? One slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Watermelon. I had that for dinner. Oh, yummy. Lucky. I had all the dinner. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh, he didn't feel so good. Do you know what? Miss Shirley doesn't really like watermelon. Can you believe that? Who ever heard of somebody who doesn't like it? That's kind of weird, don't you think? The next Sunday, I mean the next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. Mmm, and after that, he felt much better. After a good salad, do we all feel better? Yeah. I love that. I do too. <gasps> now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Woo! He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... In fact, you know, really anytime. Um, um, I he was a beautiful. Like yeah, that. okay, that's not. Sure, yeah. Um, I can make two. So, one for my sister, one for me. Okay. Um, so, what I was going to. Oh, that's a good idea. So, for those of you watching at home, here's what I was thinking of for a project. You can take a paper plate and cut out the um, bottom and then punch some holes around the edge or have an adult do that for you, right? And then, if you take a piece of twine. I don't have twine, I have Or string or yarn or something like that, right? I saw, I, I saw my string my mom gave me. Oh, really? Okay. And then, you can basically start, so. start weaving, uh, start weave, spinning yourself a spider web. So you Wait, stick it through. Wait, hold one. on. I First, you tie a knot at the end of one. Wait, no. Just a second. Once you just do the first thing, put the bead on. And the bead goes at the end. Yep. Yeah. So you so you basically tie a knot at one end and push it through the hole, and then just you know go across the thing and back and forth and back and forth and across and across, and then right at the end, if you can find, um, I put it on the wrong side, I suppose. If you can find a bead or something like that in your house. Um, you can put it on and that can be the spider and then just tie a knot right at the end. And that can be the very busy spider spider's web. In the, in the okay. Place, can be the fence post. Yeah, that's true. That's a good idea. Okay. And so, Can um, you help me? My mom and her Yes. Are yeah. Off. You can help me by, by doing the goodbye song for the tape and then I'm going to help you with your project. Does that sound like a good plan? Okay. Can you turn around and show the camera your beautiful face. Okay. All right. Goodbye, Bye. friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thanks for coming to Storytime about Eric Carl. I mean, for watching Storytime. And speaking of Storytime, 
in two weeks on June, is that two weeks? Yeah, on June 17th, we are going to start in-person story time outside at the store. So I do hope you join us. Take care.